Uh, hi, Deb. Good morning. Heart disease can come in many forms, and if you suffer from AFib and a regular heartbeat, it can lead to complications. More than 2.7 million Americans have AFib. Roughly $290 million in avoidable costs is spent annually on medication-related problems, including non-adherence, of which $100 billion is spent on hospitalizations alone. Joining me now to discuss American Heart Month is Dr. Mo Jello. Doctor, who is at most risk for AFib? I would say uh, patients who have uh, congestive heart failure, if they have high blood pressure, um, if they're over 65, if they have diabetes, as well as so many other risk factors, these are the people who are at a higher risk for AFib as well as having stroke complications. How can AFib lead to an increased risk for heart attack or stroke? Yeah, so um, AFib kind of changes how the heart beats. And because of that, it makes it easier for blood clots to form and it makes it easier for you to have a stroke as well as heart failure. What are the most effective ways to reduce the risk of AFib complications? Yeah, the best thing you could do is take blood thinners. And these uh, decrease the amount of clots in your body, so you're less likely to have a stroke. Medication adherence not only improves patient outcomes, but lowers health care costs. Mm -hmm. But how are health care costs affected when patients do not adhere to medications? Um, unfortunately, people uh, end up in the hospital more often if they're not taking their medications uh, like they should. And there have been studies showing that over a hundred billion, and I said that billion with the B, dollars are spent in health care costs because people are not taking their medications as they should be. How can pharmacists help patients understand their medications? Yep, we can help educate people about their medications. We can clarify and make it easy for people to understand why the medication should be used, how they work. Um, also, we could tell you what are the benefits of the medication as well as the side effects and what we can do to prevent the side effects from happening again. Doctor, is there anything you'd like to add about AFib? Yeah, uh, I would say AFib is something that it is important for people to speak to their doctor to uh, diagnose. And I would say this does require a team effort that uh, patients are going to have to work with their physicians or doctors as well as their pharmacists to make sure they get the best care. Where can our viewers go for more information? Yeah, people can go to the American Heart Association website. I think I actually do a good job of providing very basic information for anyone to be able to understand about AFib as well as other heart-related diseases, as well as provide information about what they can do to prevent complications as well as where they can find better information. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to talk with me today. Have a great day. All right, thank you. Take care. Bye.